This is tutorial number 45, and it covers how to use the shaft feature within CATIA v5. To start off, open up a new CATIA part file. Now we're going to be using the shaft feature, and to use the shaft feature, what we have to do is we have to have uh, two sketches. So one sketch is going to be a profile, and the other sketch is going to be an axis that we're going to uh, revolve this shaft around. So the shaft feature can be found on the toolbar over here, or if you go to insert sketch base features, you can find the shaft feature here. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the two uh, different sketches that we need to create our shaft. So first off, let's click the uh, YZ plane here and let's click sketch and let's click a circle and let's make a circle and we'll dimension this to 100 and let's dimension the distance from the center point to the origin and let's make this 300 and let's go out and let's exit this sketch so what we've done is we've created our first profile that we need to create our shaft now what we have to do is create a sketch that's going to be our axis that we're going to revolve it around. So let's click the YZ plane again and let's click sketch and let's just draw a line up and down the origin here. And let's exit it and that sketch is going to be our axis that we're going to revolve it around. Now let's open up the part body and you can see that we have one sketch there and another sketch there. So now let's use the shaft feature so let's click shaft and what we have to do is we have to choose a profile and we have to choose an axis so for the profile let's choose the circle and for the axis let's choose the line right there now automatically it's kind of come up with the preview of what we're gonna get so let's click preview and we can see exactly what we're gonna get so we're gonna get the circle revolving all the way around to make a ring now let's click OK, and we've created a shaft feature, and we've created a ring using the circle and the axis. So let's get in and let's play around with these parameters a little bit. So let's double click on the shaft. And what you have is a first angle and second angle. So for the first angle, let's reduce this. So let's make this 270. Click Preview and you'll see that we're chopping out 270 so right now this bits gonna be chopped out and let's put this second angle to 90 and let's preview it and you can see that it closes it up so we're gonna have two different angles going in from this one uh, profile here so if we put both of these at 90 and click preview we're gonna have half so it's gonna go 90 degrees this way and 90 degrees that way now let's put this to 130 and let's put this one to 130 and let's click OK and you can see that we're revolving 130 this way and 130 that way to create our shaft now let's go into the shaft one more time so let's double click it and let's click thick profile And again, let's put this thickness to 10, click preview, and you can see that we're creating a hole or a thickness to our shaft that we made. Now this is going to work just like the pad that we used before for the thickness and the pocket. Now let's click OK, and you can see that we now have a hollow opening in our shaft that we just created. Now let's change some of these sketches that we we're using so let's double click on sketch one and let's change this from a circle to a square so just kind of draw a square around the circle that we have and delete the circle and let's exit it and let it rebuild and you can see that it rebuild with the square rather than the circle now if we go back into the sketch again let's move this square farther out 
delete this dimension here, click rebuild, and now our entire shaft is now larger and it's been extracted, extracted out more. So to use the shaft feature, you need to have the two sketches. You need to have one that's going to be your profile and one that's going to be the axis that you're going to revolve it around. Now we're going to do one more and what we're going to do is we're going to put this kind of on an angle compared to what it is right now. So let's click the YZ plane, click sketch, and let's draw a line that's on an angle to the origin and click it onto the origin and let's make this 45 degrees. Now let's accept this and let's do another shaft. So let's click shaft. Let's click uh, sketch one as our profile and sketch three as the axis and you can see that it's all on that 45 degree. Let's click OK. And now we've created the profile and everything on that 45 degree angle. So like I was saying, you need your two sketches, the uh, profile and the axis. And by playing around with the angles and the shapes of your profile and axis, you're going to get different results every time. So this is a tool that the more practice you have and the more that you play around with it, you're going to see the different results that you get and you're going to be able to utilize and uh, put these different results into use into your parts and projects that you'll be working on. And this concludes our tutorial on the shaft feature within Katia V5.